hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys uh, for today's video this is actually related to my other video yung entitled na alamin ang importanteng bagay uh, bago bilhin ang used car so in this video guys i will be teaching you on how to process the transferring of ownership into your name so uh Please keep on watching on this video if you are interested and in this video guys, uh, you will be also uh, uh, know what are the documentation that you should have to prepare in order to process the transferring of the ownership. Okay, so please stay tuned guys. Here are the documents that are uh, needed to submit in the land transportation office, guys, to process the transferring of ownership. Number one, guys, of course, you have to submit original copy of a uh, deed of sale, notarized uh, ID from the seller. Make sure, guys, na the ID, the seller's ID, si Roxabi, must have a signature affix, and then two valid ID of yours o oh, kanino man siya ita-transfer and then when it comes to valid uh, valid ID guys it, ha it has to be issued from the government take note of that and then number four is ano guys um, HPG clearance it's Highway Patrol Group clearance and additional to that proof of payment the original receipt you also submit that and number six guys the mbis so you should also submit that and then um if you are going to uh renew the registration of the car kung nagkataon siyang kailangan siya register so meron siyang additional also uh ctpl uh insurance uh certificate of third party liability and the emission test result and of course guys NBIS if you are not uh, going to renew the registration kasi malayo pa so disregard yung emission test at saka CTPF so yun guys ang uh, dapat na documents ni meron ka for, in order for you to process the transferring of ownership okay so um, um first thing mong gagawin guys uh dapat i-comply mo muna lahat ng document. So, you have to process I highly suggest you process first the HPG clearance. So, uh, by the way for the LTO para guys, document of course, you have to submit the original OR and CR. So, isa sa mga pinaka kailangan i-submit. So, uh, going back guys uh, going back to sa pag-process ng Highway Patrol group uh, clearance so you need to submit uh, two copies of notarized date of sale two copies of OR and CR and two copies of your two valid IDs so yun lang ang i-present mo and para mabigyan ka nila ng payment form para makapagbayad ka through land bank so yun ang uh, process process ng HPG kasi HPG guys uh, they don't accept they won't accept payment in their office so you have to pay it through land bank uh, by the way uh, for those of you uh, watching on this video and you are not from the Philippines so this is only applicable for the Philippines guys and um, and I believe also that all the documentation uh, I think uh, the same process in your country and it varies lang siguro for in terms of payments so yun guys still you uh, you are learning on this video okay so again you have to go to the land bank when you have uh, when you have a payment order form for uh, video you have to fill it up and then present to land bank so that they can issue a receipt to you also so after that if uh, I highly suggest also guys uh, validated order slip and the payments uh, receipt you should 
also have a Xerox copy at least one para uh, safe ka if in case mawala yung receipt at least you still have your own copy okay and after that you have to go back to the HPG office you have to submit uh, those documents that I have mentioned uh, to again uh, two copies of uh, deed of sale two copies of OR and CR, OR and CR Xerox copy guys and then uh, your two valid IDs Xerox copy and then of course the original receipt and the validated uh, payment order form you should submit so after that guys uh, uh, you will fill, uh, you have to submit to them and then you will fill up the form and after that uh, they will return to you uh, that the documents uh, then with number as uh, then you have to go back to your car kasi meron silang in charge uh, meron silang in charge na makukuha ng stem cells mo okay so uh, I highly suggest guys that uh, stem cells is really needed every time magparegister ka ng car so kailangan ka meron dyan so I highly suggest that uh you should have get extra copy uh, you pay lump sum amount to the in charge so um, after that yung nakuha na yung stencils ibigay nila sa iyo yung copy na doon na ka affix doon na ka uh, attach yung stencils mo at babalik ka doon sa office ng HPG so at uh, maghintay ka din na someone to take photo on your car and then after that you have to wait for their instruction and wait for your claim slip kung kailan mo makuha yung clearance mo and here in Cebu guys it takes two working days bago mo makuha ang clearance mo so make sure guys kapag makuha mo yung clearance kunin mo also yung original receipt kailangan mabalik yun ang original receipt at saka yung orders uh, payment order slip kasi kailangan mo isubmit yun sa uh, LTO after that uh, you can proceed to process your NBIS again if you have uh, stencils so you can uh, madali lang ang proseso so, since meron ka ng stencils so, kasi the NBIS guys they require also the Xerox copy of your uh, uh, date of sale and then Xerox copy of your OR and CR and then your ID at saka yung stencils. Those are the documents also that they are needing. So that is why guys you need to reproduce your documents. As much as possible, uh, take uh, Xerox at least four copies each. So for the emission test also guys, they need the or and CR Xerox copy. So, same thing. So, for the uh, getting also the insurance, guys, uh, CTPL, OR and CR also, they are needing. So, um, so, yun, guys. And then, for the emission test, guys, uh, needed mo lang yun if mag-renew ka ng sasakyan at saka yung uh, CTPL. Uh, for those of you uh, are not familiar with the fees for the CTPL insurance, so, ang cost niya nasa 500 to 600 ang um, babayaran mo. And you will get the certification after 5, day, five working days. For the NBIS guys, uh, before uh, previous administration uh, the fee was 50 pesos but this administration nag iba na kasi presidente natin sa Pilipinas so free na lang yung MBIS ang MBIS guys it is not also required if uh, the, in this administration every time na magre-renew ka ng uh, sasakyan uh, kinakansel na lang ginakansel na yon but it is required if magta-transfer ka ng ownership so but 
the charge is free na walang charges so if you have completed all those documents guys you can start process to the LTO and um, of course you should have to prepare also uh, cash kasi my charges man yun ang pag transfer ng uh, ownership into your name but of course it is not that expensive it's very cheap guys um, for the SUV ano lang siya, less than 300 pesos lang siya, 299, something like that lang siya guys, and I don't know if baka fix yun baka, uh, sa, sa mga sedan na type, so yun lang naman ang pabayaran mo so, you should submit all those documents na na-mention ko kanina, and then you have to, ano lang guys, makuha mo lang within that day, depende kung maraming tao sa sa LTO office. Pero sa ngayon kasi pandemic, so madali lang siya. So, uh, again, uh, I highly suggest para makasave kayo ng amount of money, yung stem cells nyo, guys, kuha kayo ng extra copy. So, another tips also, guys, uh, para you can save some amount of your expenses, and of course, uh, take the advantage to learn the process so you should do it by yourself so yun ang kagandahan and to tell you guys in this uh, kind of uh, knowledge na marunong ka mag process ng ganitong classic transaction you can use it as your business you can accept uh, uh, services also if you are interested uh, baka malay mo your friend mga mag ask ng paper sa iyo. So, you know, you know everything now. What are the documents that you should ask uh, from somebody na ina-allow ka na ikaw mag-process. Diba? So, yun guys. And then, nagka-pera ka na. So, so, those are my tips and uh, tutorial for this uh, transferring of uh, ownership. And I think that's all guys in this video. And I hope I hope you learned from this video and if you like this video and you learn this video please give me a thumbs up and please also share this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel and if you are interested also for tips and tutorial about your channel how to grow your channel uh, easily and fast you can check on this channel Guys, meron akong mga tutorial and tips for you. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching and see you on my next video.